that it's going to be durable. Not all low-E coatings perform the same. That's right. There are really two major categories of low-E coatings available in the marketplace. The first one is the low solar gain low-E that I've already mentioned. Um, this product is important because it cuts solar heat gain. If you cut solar heat gain, you cut cooling loads. The second type of uh, low-E product that's available in the market is, is called a high solar low-E product. Um, this product is typified by having a high solar heat gain which makes it a little more appropriate maybe if you're in a heating climate whereas the low solar gain products are going to be the appropriate product pretty much anywhere cooling equipment's installed. Now one of the key questions always comes how do you tell which one you're getting and we have here an NFRC label this is the National Fenestration Rating Council label um, and on it has the performance factors and the, the key one to decide whether you're getting a high solar gain or a low solar gain window is to look at that solar heat gain coefficient and the rough rule of thumb is if you have a solar heat gain coefficient of 0.4 or less, you're getting a low solar gain product. And again, that's going to be appropriate in most cooling climates. Ken, thanks for being here. Thank you.